are you telling me? Beard, lover of all things lunar, that I covered bulbous light bugs and naked mole bats, but not mush gnomes? I mean, don't get me wrong, as the former two mobs are actually pretty freaking amazing. But come on now, how could I have done these living mushrooms so wrong, everyone? But yup, you guessed it, folks. Mush gnomes are some of my favorite mobs in the entire game, offering some cool new loot and a cool new way to get some old ones, too. So let's spin into action, shall we? And first things first, where do we even venture to encounter these walking moon shrooms? Simple. An entire biome full of moon shrooms themselves in the Lunar Grotto, everyone. First added in the Forgotten Knowledge updates, the Lunar Grotto is a new cave-specific biome within Don't Starve Together Alone, and will always be connected to our blue mush tree forest biomes come any new world generations. So, head on down and get a little loon. And here's the thing about mush gnome spawns, everyone. They sort of just show up wherever they want to down here. At first I thought specific lunar mush trees were their spawn point homes, but really they kind of just pop out of the ground in general areas all about the biome it seems. But the best part about that, you ask, is that they'll do so constantly as you kill them, making them super renewable, as they respawn in less than a day everyone. Good stuff. But even better might just be how bloody easy it is to actually kill the things in the first place. For you see, not only are mush gnomes non-hostile creatures, although they are monsters, so make note there, they don't fight back. Well, at least not in the usual sense. They instead use a spinning maneuver to produce a ring of things called lunar spores. And these things are a mush gnome's only line of defense. They produce them when they walk around too, and they will eventually explode, dealing damage to anything nearby. But it's only 10 points, and you can actually force them to go boom faster by walking near them to just continue to fight faster. It's all very easy and straightforward, and it kind of makes you feel bad because of how easy it is. Until, of course, you see the potential pile of loot, and thus begin your quest to murder every bloody last one of them, that is. For you see, mush gnomes drop one to two living logs each, as well as three to five lunar spores upon death, with the cherry on top being two moon shrooms guaranteed to boot. Very, very nice. And obviously, incredibly efficient when it comes to living logs, mind you. And yes, while tree guardians drop more per kill, I'll take one to two per kill, if it means I only have to wait roughly eight minutes per mush gnome over possibly chopping 80 trees for a chance at a single guardian, if you know what I mean. You never know, and every player, every world was gonna differ. But if mush gnomes can lead me to some of the best gear in the game that much faster, then that's a win for them in my book. And trust me, the wins will keep on coming from here on out. Cause these moon shrooms, Beard, what's their deal? Well, I wouldn't blame ya if you thought nothing of them at first glance, as a raw moon shroom will restore a whopping 0 health, 12.5 hunger, and 10 sanity, while a cooked shroom looks awful with its 0 health once more, but minus 12.5 hunger and minus 10 sanity. Yeah, not a very good first impression actually. Ah, but these moon shrooms have some special properties you see, as eating two raw moon shrooms will actually put us to sleep for a very short spat of snoozing, and will wake up on groggy and such. It's not super useful, but it's certainly unique, I'd say. But let's say you do wake up groggy and decide to munch on a cooked moon shroom. Then you'll notice that said grogginess is actually gone entirely. Very interesting stuff. And yes, this mechanic does in fact work with all sources of grogginess in the entire game. So make note, as it could actually come in handy. But let's pull the brake on that one for a moment, because that's not all what moon shrooms can do for us. Mutated Fungal Turf is a newer craft found under the Celestial tab and requires three moon shrooms to create, along with a single chunk of moonstone and is the very turf found within the Lunar Grotto itself. So if you somehow turf it all, here's your answer there. But hey, 
If you're into this sort of thing, I know a guy. But back to business, as by far the best use for mooch rooms will be that of Mushy Cake. A new crockpot recipe requiring one of each shroom in the entire game. And once again, the stats are not going to blow you away at 10 sanity, 25 hunger, and a whopping zero health. But once again, you need to think beyond the stats, folks. For you see, what if I told you that a single mushy cake could prevent you from ever sleeping for an entire day? Even if it's the fluffy bear you're trying to get you to sleep with his yawning attack. A mushy cake raises our sleep resistance so much that nothing. And I repeat, nothing can put us to sleep, everyone. Sure, we will still get groggy, but bite a cooked moon shroom, and you'll be back to the races immediately. Cool stuff. And there you have it, everyone. A very quick guide on mush gnomes within Don't Starve Together. They are living, breathing, fun guys, am I right? I like them. I like them a lot. And while the moon shrooms can be a bit gimmicky, sure, the ideas are still pretty darn unique. And it's very hard to argue against that living log potential, folks. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Well wishes to all. Get gnomed. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye.